Hello friends, welcome back. First, I would like to thank all of you for your patience and in this part we will see how to compile the CG elements and do the comping work. So let's get started. Before I start the shot, I would like to show some important gizmos or nodes I use for this shot. Crypto mat, P mat, our position mask, eye blur, heat distortion and the AP glow. I have used these gizmos a lot in this shot. These gizmos are free. You can get it from Nuke Survival Kit. I will share the link in the description. If I see the CG elements, this shot is nothing but adding more haze, depth, some 2D elements, treating those emission passes, the glow and do some comping work on the thrusters, adding lens flare and overall grading and the integration. There are like simple techniques I will explain in this shot. This shot is too big to record everything. So I have compiled the shot. The comp is already ready. So this is the whole comp here. First, I have added a DMP, which is for the sky. I have all the elements. This is the whole scene pre-comp and adding some 2D elements, adding extra secondary elements like heat distortion and some final touch like lens flare and grading and then this is the final output so let's get started let's look at my project setting my frame range is set to 1 to 500 and the fps is 24 and the format size is 2048 850 this time i'm not using the ocio color space i'm just keeping it new default setting i have all the cg passes and some 3d assets in the com this is the hanger the whole scene without the ship and the characters but it has the reflection and the shadows of the character in the ship and the ship i have this extra pass i named it as sensor lights there are some extra lights under the ship. I have just used this light to get that blinking light effect in the shot. And then CG characters. I have this thruster pass separately. Rendered these thrusters in multiple layers like 1 and 2 and 3. Then I have this mist pass. I have rendered it from EV because cycles mist is kind of noisy. I'll show you the file quickly. So this is my setup for the EV mist pass. If I go to the mist view. We are reading this kind of mist. If in case you want to adjust the depth or the distance of this EV, you can go to the world properties and then you can find a mist pass tab here and then adjust this according to your need. Like if I just change this, I always start it with the zero. I'll just keep it zero and play with the depth. Like if I just put the values somewhere around 1000 depth is changing now or the mist levels are changing the lesser value means more bright. Just start with the values like 100 and then you'll start getting this kind of depth and then keep playing with the values. My shot, I used 400 and then I just rendered this one. Now let's go to the nuke. I have the landing dust. This is also rendered from EV. I will show you the file. I have this VDP purchased long ago from Pixel Lab. This is very heavy to render. That's the reason I rendered this in EV and took that as a mat because in my shot, this is not really very visible because in my shot, I don't want it to keep it very dense. That's the reason I just rendered it here in EV and use that as a secondary element in new. Then I have this heat haze mat. I just put some cylinders to the ship and just rendered this mat. I wanted to add some volume to this spotlight. That's why I just put some cylinders and rendered this mat. If in case I can use this, then I have the scene particles like these ones. You can see the whole particles in the scene and then some force particles like when ship is landing, this particle will get affected by the ship landing. I have the short camera that I used in Blender. I just exported the .abc file and imported it in Nuke. Then I took some of those cards from Blender and used it in my shot. Like this one is for the sky and this one is for the background in the scene and same for the extreme background just like what we see in the blender. I just took those position cards and using them for my shot. So if you have some basic idea about using the 3D cards in the nuke, you can understand this process. First, I have the sky image here. This is 6K. I simply projected this image onto the card that I have the sky card. And, and using the camera in the skyline, I just rendered this card. So if you see, this is on the start frame. This is the very simple card projection technique that we have seen in my previous video. Simply adding these cloud images and doing some color grading. I took one more image, blurred it a lot, and just put this merge and the operation is on overlay mode to get that kind of bluish tone. Did some grading. I just made the shot much more brighter here using the color grade and color correction node projected it on the card and rendered it here in 2D. So this is my precomp for the sky DMP. First, I took the hanger render. Let's go to the last frame and see. Now let's do the grading and copying work on the on the CJ renders. I used crypto mat and P mat, which is position mask a lot in the shot because that is very important for this kind of shots to grade it separately. I did some tweaking on this. You can hardly see the grading on this spotlight here. This kind of changing the values. 
I just use the crypto mat and selected these two spotlights here. In my previous video, I have explained what crypto mat and crypto object is. And then here comes the interesting part using the P mat or the position mat. For that, I have used this position pass. This is very important for the shot. First, let's see. Let's go to the frame where I use the mask. So let's take this frame as an example. Using the P mat, I just selected this area. How to use that P mat? I'll just show you. Take a P mat. This gizmo is free. I have shared the link in the description. So once you have this node, just connect this P mat to the position pass and weave it. Go to the RGBA. You don't see anything. Just select this pick point here. Click anywhere there you want. Now I want the mat from this place. I'll just click it here and then increase the size. So this will give us the mat from that area, the soft mat. And then if you view that mat will be connected to that point, it's sticking to that area and then it will go according to the scene. And I just took one grade node, I set it on alpha and made the alpha stronger to affect it more on the grading. Using this same technique, I use this P mat for multiple areas like this one is here and then I think this one is somewhere and this one is somewhere here. And then using this mat here, I did some grading on my anger. Like if I see, we are reading some of the details. I just tweak the white points using that mat of the position pass. I took this P mat again. I used it here somewhere in the background. And same I took on the ground as well. If I go to the last frame, you can see I have selected the ground part in the FG and just adjusted some grading there. And use this again one more time. Like in this frame, I took this part. And this as well i combine them together and then this is the important grade in the shot i just made the shot look darker using the pay mat let me show you the mats here i used first i did the roto like i just took a grade for example just connected the shot and made it darker and took a roto and use this as a mask now the grade is affecting to the entire shot i want to affect it only in the depth like in the background so i will start removing the parts that i don't want to affect for that i use this p mat i selected for the foreground i took a merge node and put it on stencil and connect this one to p mat now you can see the mat it's already stenciling it out or holding it out in the same way i just removed extra parts like if i see this crypto mat i don't want this thing get affected by the grade node i'll take one more stencil node and just connect it and keep removing those parts now this one is removed and again i took some extra areas like if i go somewhere around here this roof should not be affected by that grade and some extra parts as well like in the same roof but more graded one i took that and stencil this again here if i see the grade it's only affecting to that area which we have an alpha and same if i see now my grid is not affecting on the foreground and those selected areas like this bg part and some of those areas as well this is kind of creating your own depth pass to adjust the levels or do the grading on your scene then i have this emission pass so if you see the background these are some lights those are the extra materials in the shot and using the crypto mat i can select them like if i take a crypto mat and see which one is the light for example this is the light i will just select the crypto material and now I have that light pass, you can select those lights. So using the crypto material, I can use that or else I have this emission pass in EXRs. Like if I take the shuffle node, I can choose the emission pass. And then I have all the lights here. These all lights are in different color. I just use the grading to make them blue and added some glow and added it on top of the shot to get that kind of bloom effect on the lights and then use the same emission pass blurred it horizontally like if you see the values the 61 and 8 and merge them on top to get this kind of horizontal blur effect and some overall grading so this is like you can keep doing the grading work using the crypto mat and paymat as per your need i have spent a lot of time on this shot and did some grading now i have added some 2d elements here but before that let's see the ship render and then we can come back to that i have the ship render in the same way i did some grading to the ship like selecting the pay mat and doing some tweaks like simple grading techniques not any complex things like simple grading on top of everything using the pay mat or some soft shapes so if you see the ship i haven't done anything much this is the ship from this blender and this is my final grade like small grading tweak and then merged it on top of the hanger 
So let's see these 2D elements. Let's turn this on. These are some smoke elements I have. I use them to project it on the card. Like if I see the card, my ship is somewhere around here and the card is behind the ship. So if I see, I have already named it behind spotlights. I just place this card in Blender like that only. The ship, this card is placed behind the ship. And then using that card, I have projected these 2D elements on the card. Just simple 2D projection. And then same, I used one more element and then projected it on card only on the top screen right corner and then placed it here and then if i just turn this on and off you can see these background elements so these are some important elements that are giving the depth sense in the shot and i did some oral grading and i have added the defocus to the shot using the magic defocus or you can use the zd focus as well so how to use that let's take a copy node and let's take a shuffle node as well I'll use this shuffle node. I'll take a Z pass or depth pass and connect A of your copy to the shot. And now I have this hanger and I have, the, I have this depth pass. If you just see, you can see the depth here. So if you see this depth pass, let's grade it down. This is like a mist pass. You can use this as a mist element as well by doing some grading. And you can also use this for depth. So I'm just using this for depth in copy i'll select this depth pass like make it rgb red and select this as depth here and i will take cd focus connect the image and then now everything is out of focus because we need to do some settings here i'll use this far to depth and then go to the focal plane setup and just put this point anywhere there you want like in this i want my focus on this area i'll just keep it and play with the depth of field so the green value is like in focus and the red and the blue one is out of focus. Now just go to the result and see. You can see that it's already getting affected. Some of the FG and background part is affected but the mid ground is almost very clear. That's because the fall off you are seeing some of these values but you can adjust that using these values. And using the same Z defocus method I have applied some of the defocus on this ship as well. And then same with the characters. For the characters, I haven't done anything much, just the same grading as this hanger. Like if you see this character here and this is the raw render from Blender. And this is just the normal grade. Like we did some grading on the ship and the hanger. In the same way, I just applied those grades on these characters as well to read them less bright. And also I did depth of field. When I did all this element comping and grading and everything, I was feeling that my shot is looking kind of magenta overall. So I wanted to do some color grading on top of everything. So I took this color correction node and I changed some of the values like in gain and the midtones. I did some overall greenish look to the shot, just simple grade and then merge them everything together. And I have pre comped it because Whenever I do this kind of heavy comps, I prefer doing the pre-comping because it will be very helpful to do the element comping and to run the shot in real time. And it will save a lot of your time and as well as your shot will be less heavy and you can work efficiently. So my suggestion would be do more pre-comps as possible and keep your shot simple and sorted and do this shot stepwise. It will be easy to do the comping work. If I take a look at the raw render and my pre-comp, so far we have added the sky dmp added glow to the shot like on the emission passes on the lights added the smoke elements overall grading depth of field and some overall tweaks on the shot like getting that kind of depth using the pay mat and the crypto mat in next part we will see how to use the 2d element to the shot like adding more 2d elements and heat haze and final touch like adding lens flare overall grading and grain and that will be our final part for the ship landing sequence and i hope you guys enjoying this ship landing tutorial so if you have any doubts or any questions please let me know down in the comments and i'll take a look and thanks for watching